Hey, and spell your name, please. Jamie Burton. J a m i e b u r t o n. All right, Jamie. Can you tell tell us where we're standing here? We're standing in the what was the back of pockets pool room when uh, Michael decided to come through. Were you here when it when it hit? Yes, we was um, gathering in, thinking we was being safer because my house is wood frame, and I was gonna get us in this block wall, and then. We gathered up, gathered my daughters. We showed up and we bunched up and it was pretty good and then it got bad. Well, uh, who all, how many people were here? And me, my two daughters, her friend, my cousin, aunt and uncle. What was it like when the eye wall hit? Oh, it was bad. We, uh, I got, uh, you know, <laughs> damn old roof starts shaking real bad and kids screaming, crying fall into pieces and you gather them up and you get them to the best position you can when all the roof starts caving in and hubby them in the hall there and it was going pretty good till the water come in and then the wall starts separating and the roof starts peeling off. What's going through your head when the roof's peeling off in this? Mm, if you're right with the Lord, <laughs> you know, you know, every time you thought you were supposed to do the right thing, did you do it? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. And all them questions you say, oh man, should I stop and help that old boy? <laughs> you might want to stop. <laughs> I stopped every time. <laughs> we here. Well, uh, when outside, see the you painting the signs says uh, help Trump. Uh, just kind of a, a signal to get people. Not well, you know. He he he's all about the man like me. Don't mind getting up, come up here every day and work. You know, I get my tools just like every other man every morning. Work. He's for us that work. So, <laughs> hey, what's up? You know, gee, and many crickets. Who do we tell? Yeah, you know, I don't know who to tell. Well, I uh, appreciate you telling me. Uh, hopefully, you know, you get an idea of what it's well, like riding in an eye wall. Hey, we just thank the Lord that my people's safe. What about all these? I walk outside and see people I help and people that are still very, very bad. It's not good. Well, what, what can you tell people that want to ride out a, a eye wall of a major hurricane next time? Well, I can tell you I ain't no, you know, <laughs> ain't no $5 an hour dummy. So I didn't come up here like no idiot to have a hurricane party. Mm -hmm. I thought I was a little smarter than the average, gonna take my kids out of a wooden frame structure, bring them to a block structure that I had. And that's a joke. You ain't just do what they say when they tell you to evacuate. You understand the English language, it's evacuate. You understand one plus one's two, and shit, listen. It's that simple. No. I, I'll listen, believe me. No, it's certainly not a matter of, 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 of dumb or stupid. It's a matter of having been through it. And once you're through it one time, I hear the same story every time. Nobody ever wants to do it again. No. So, but thank you for your time. I'm sorry for all your, your destruction here. And hopefully everything gets better quick. I, and I tell you, you know, it, it's people, you don't realize it. One little old boy, 23, come running up in the middle of the storm. He got a police shirt on. He's from Crestview. Got a little camo hat on. Now, he's 23. Of course, any, if the roof would have finished leaving and the shit caved in, I'd probably had to save that youngin'. But you should have seen the easement. Just them seeing that yellow shirt of this kid and stuff on the people. So just that little piece. And then being without anything and someone like you showing up with one phone to let us make one phone call. Something like that. People don't realize it's those few little things. That young little 23-year-old took the... Took that off him youngin's mind for 30 minutes, buddy, when I got 16-year-olds having nervous breakdowns. It's a different story, you know? So we sure appreciate, you know, everybody. Absolutely. It, it takes know. everybody. It, it sure does. Certainly a disaster. It's, a, it's such a long road to recovery. I mean, do you have any plans? Are you, you going to stay here? Or? What do you do? That's why I, we don't know who even to ask. We just try and clean it up real good, dry it in the best we can. Don't want the rest of our stuff to ruin or, you know, you own it. Yeah, you got to still make the payments on all your stuff. I don't know. <laughs> well, thank you, Jamie. I mean, I love you guys' spirit. You guys are, uh, have been great, so I appreciate it so much. And, uh, you know, I, I can't say enough how, how hope recovery is fast and good to you. So. We thank you.